Hello everyone and welcome to another tune getting geared up and leveled up in Swotor. Uh that's it. this is number what 13 I believe. Yep, I got my guardian to level 50. So this video I'm going to cover we're going to cover end game in this video. We're going to cover cuz a lot of people get to end game and they ask, "What do I do at end game? What do I do?" You know, so we're going to cover that in this video. We might do that in a little Let's Level video later on, but we're going to do it now, seeing as I just got my Guardian to 50. That's right, we're 50, not 55, because Endgame really, the, well, the preparation for Endgame starts at level 50, okay? So the first thing we are going to do at level 50, actually starts sooner than that, I'd like to start about 45. What I like to do is just hoard planetary comms. That's the first thing I do when I hit level 50, is make sure you have a good stash of planetary comms. I have 88 out of the 100. It's not too bad. Really, uh, you want to be close to the 100. At least above above 80, between 80 and 100. Don't, don't sit on the 100 comms, if you know what I mean. Uh, don't, yeah, don't sit on the 100 because... We don't we, we don't want to waste comms because you can always buy some decent gear for your companion or whatnot. So what we're gonna do is we are not what we're not gonna do if we are a subscriber is visit the Corellia vendor. No 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 no. All this level fifty gear. We don't want it. We don't want it. We want to visit the McKeb vendor. You need to be a subscriber to visit this vendor or you if you're free to play or preferred you need to purchase the uh, artifact authorization so this is we'll start our end game and what we're gonna do is buy the old Rakata gear that's what we're gonna buy that's why we need planetary comms so it is the 25 mods it's only mods that you can get you can't get the gear anymore which is a pity because the Rakata gear looked really good if you ask me it was one of the best some of the best looking gear in the game my bounty hunter still has a few things from the Rakata tier set it was kind of in the middle if you want to know where it was it was in the middle of the uh, old end game set at level 50 so we were Rakata was kind of in the middle you had black hole campaign which were kind of the same tier campaign was the set bonus uh, Black Hole was the non-set bonus. It was tier 61 at the time we referred it to. Now we have to refer it to by the, the, the uh, what is it, the armoring number now. It's like, hilt is 112. I mean, come on, I, I don't like this. I don't like this new approach. So this is the 25 mods. Um, if we, we show you the uh, Corellia mods, this droid would get out of my way. So they are tw 22, so the higher the number, the better. The highest number we, I think, what is it, is it? It's not 34 anymore, it's what, well, I don't even know what the highest number is. It's greater than 34. We'll call it 35, just to be on the safe side. So we want these 25 mods. Again, level 50, purple, we need the artifact authorization. So what you're going to do is, you're going to you're gonna need orange gear for a start. But again, leveling full orange gear. I got this green lightsaber from McKeb. Again, doing the McKeb quest about level 48 on the Republic, uh, you get a nice little, uh, nice little green lightsaber that's usually better than your leveling one. You get a green main hand. It's the only time we'll ever equip greens, really. So what I'm gonna do with this character is I'm not gonna bother. Uh, buying these from this character personally because I'm gonna go to DPS I'm gonna respec him to DPS and get him some gear because I have a lot <laughs> I'll have a Marauder and a Sentinel alt so what I'm gonna do is give him their DPS gear now I know what you're thinking medium armor to heavy armor doesn't go but as long as you put it in adaptive armor that's the thing about adaptive armor Oops, wrong button as long as you have adaptive armor, it will adapt to the highest rating that you can equip. Okay, so you can take things from medium armor and put it in, and it will give you the value of heavy armor because we are a guardian and we can equip heavy armor. I'm gonna get the legacy bound offhand, so I can send them offhand. So I'll need to get that on my sentinel. So what you tend to do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Kira. Come on, Kira. Where are Ready you? There you are. And we're going to gear Kira. 
in this. So generally, again, if this is your first character getting sort of to 50, you want to give yourself this gear. But we're going to give Kira level 35, level 45. She's got level 41. And she's got really kind of. We leveled him. I leveled him during the double XP weekend. So gear and things uh, we don't have a lot of for my companion because I wasn't doing a lot of story quests. If you want to know where my story quests are, it is on Balmora. Yeah, level 33, that's when I gave up on the story quest and just started farming PvP and Kuat drive yards and then eventually getting to 47, started farming Illum. Start farming Illum because we want a lot of credits. For Illum we get 10,000 credits a quest, which is pretty nice. And we get classic commendations. Classic commendations we're not really going to bother with at end game. Because it is the old gear. But again, we'll, we'll probably save them up to buy relics. Probably buy the uh, Dreadguard relics. But we don't need to do that anymore since Oricon came in. So classic comms are a bit useless. The thing we really want to do uh, when we're leveling between 50 and 55 is the basic comms. I managed to get 28. Get five from a uh, little thing. And well, why did I get three this week? Don't know where I've gotten those three from. So yeah, you get five for pre for pre-ordering Rise of the Hut Cartel back when we had to buy it. I got five basic comms, and I got some from the uh, the weekly quest. Where is it? Uh, tactical flashpoints. There it is. Tactical flashpoints. You get twenty plus twelve elite comms. So it's pretty good for. For level, and we're going to want to do that quest before we hit 55. So the commendations go at end game. They go basic, elite, ultimate. Are the three? We don't have any ultimate comms right now, but we can get some because we can start to do operations. We can start to do. I'll show you the operations that we can do. We can do any of the level 50 ones. If you get the uh, 25 gear from the McKeb vendor, it is the minimum required to do the hard mode versions of these operations. Well, Eternity Vault and Caragas Palace, not really. The explosive conflict was the hardest. We get access, of course, to the hard mode flashpoints. That will get us uh, 61 tier gear, black hole gear. Again, it's going to be, if it's better than what you got, go with it. Tend to want the black hole gear. It will be better than the uh, 25 mods that you can buy from the McKeb vendor. So we're going to want uh, these things. We don't really want classic comms. When you hit level 51 this gets replaced with basic comms. So we really want basic comms. Queuing group finder is a bit of a waste of time for operations these days. Uh, but queuing for the hard mode flashpoints works pretty well. I'm not going to bother because I can get full 61 and 63. So again, what are we going to do? Uh, you can do a keb. A lot of people tend to do that. Again, it's good comms, but I tend what I tend to do these days is just farm the daily quests. So we got to go to the Illum uh, Belsavis and Section X and when we hit level 53 we'll go to CZ198. CZ198 is pretty good, Get nets you a lot of basic commendations. You can't do the weekly quest though under 55 which is a shame, We're losing out on 20 commendations. So our goal between 50 and 55 is to get as much gear as possible, get as much black hole gear in as possible from the hard mode flashpoints, get some hazmat gear uh, from doing Eternity Vault or Caragas Palace in hard mode. It's pretty easy to find a group for. There's always people running groups. Uh, some of them don't take under 55s, which I think is just stupid if you ask me. Because Eternity Vault and Caragas Palace, you can 4-man them these days. I think some people some people can even 2-man them. There's the thing for that, that good a gear. But again, I would always suggest getting... Ignoring the classic comms, ignoring them nowadays because they're kind of irrelevant. They take too long just to get anywhere with them. Uh, you can get black hole gear again, queuing for the 50, the level 50 hard modes. They're not that hard. You, if you buy again, if you get fully kitted out in those 25 mods, it's fine. You get the Rakata gear. It's fine. It's fine for that because it used to be. We used to the gear requirement for these are nothing basically these days because we get those comms you know we get those 25 mods for comms those purple mods are kind of they were in the middle of the tier 
uh, the gear tier for 50 content. We can do any 50 content in those mods. That's the good thing about them, and they've made them available. So 50 content is going to be quite trivial, even at level 50. It's still going to be quite easy, so... I tend to try and get as much 61 gear as possible. Again, if you've got alts, you can send gear via legacy. Tend to do that with alts. Tend to use the pilot suits a lot. I'll probably change them into a pilot suit, although I don't have to because... So I'm going to change them to DPS. I have a full tank set waiting for him at endgame at 55, so... Again, I'm going to focus on getting him a DPS set, because I want to do a video on Guardian DPS. I have never really tried the Guardian DPS. Probably look at uh, Vigilance Tree. Seems to be the old, an interesting tree. Um, focus just seems the same as the uh, Marauder one. Or oh, not the Marauder, the uh, Gar mm, Sentinel. That's the one. So I'm currently in uh, defense right now. Got to the top of the tree. Still got five levels to go. Don't know really where I'm going to put the points. Probably two in there. Improved Sundering Strike. And I'll have to look up and see what good builds for a tank are. I'll have a little look at that because I've never really played a tank before. So that was all this little video. We'll do part two. Part two uh, will cover what we do when we hit 55. So, I mean, again, we want to try the daily areas. I would recommend. McCab is pretty good. McCab gives you decent XP. Um, but it does get... You do get the odd basic com. You only get three basic comms per quest. So we want to mix McCab and some dailies in there. Section X is a good place to go. Um, you can access Section X, and there's a little menu, I'll just show you where it is right now to get to Section X, to get to Illum Section X, and eventually CZ-198. We don't want to go to CZ-198 at 50, so we just pick a hangar, any hangar will do. Oh, we're going in the Jedi Knight hangar. Any little hangar will do. And the priority transport again. We want to do black holes good as well for credits and money, but the thing about Illum and the black hole is they only give you uh, base. They don't give you basic comms. They give you classic comms. Section X always gives you basic comms. I think the weekly um, in the black hole area and the weekly does give you I think basic comms as well. So again, these are worth going to. You can go to McCab also and do the story quest. McCab tends to be quite inefficient though in terms of leveling because uh, this this video is from the sort of uh, PvE point of view if you want to get into operations if you want to get into hard mode flashpoints I, t I tend to do that as quickly as possible I'm quite quite proficient at gearing these guys now I usually have I have tons of gear because I just do raids and just greed for everything that's what I do right now <laughs> just greed for every piece of gear and you end up with a complete set i've got a complete tank set complete verpine tank set i don't have the set bonus oh what the hell is that Ooh, big lag tonight a lot of lag tonight so i tend to have the verpine set bonus i'll show you where the uh vendors are for end game actually they are just back here on the inner ring of the supply hurry up and load oh. I always get this screen when we enter. Not too bad though. Oh, big lag. Big, big lag. Big lag spike. Well, not that big, but, you know. Jesus, it is 160 milliseconds. It's only about 40. So this is the uh, PvE area. There's your vendors. You've got your classic, your basic, elite, ultimate. So again, the classic gear, we don't really need it, to be honest. We just don't, we don't really want it. It's, it's very expensive, 150 classic comms. Basic gear, again, we can get our black market stuff. The black market stuff is probably where we want to be at end game. That's our target, to get as many black market PCs as possible. Again, we can get them from the new flashpoints, uh, Korriban and what is it? Korriban Incursion and the Salt and Titan. They do drop a black market piece at the end of them, so they're worth doing the tactical flashpoints at end game. But again, 50 to 55, it's a pretty nice leveling experience. I quite like it. There's a lot of options for us. We're gonna spend some time in these hard mode flashpoints and again it's important that you you hit 55 with a reasonable set of gear having those 25 mods are pretty good and having at least some 61 
pieces. You want the odd piece. Um, but again, our focus is not going to be on classic comms. It's going to be on basic comms. Because basic comms get you 55, 53 gear as well. We can buy for some basic comms. I think you can buy uh, your main hand. Your main hand does have a... Requi I think it does have a reputation requirement for the main hand. I can't remember what it is. But again... So this is the first step, first step to end game. Uh, gonna have some fun, gonna have some dailies done. I'm gonna respec him to DPS, unfortunately, because I don't have any tank gear for level 50. Just it's just gonna be easier for me. But I'm gonna keep this set of gear, put him in a pilot suit, uh, send the pilot suit to one of your alts, and get him an offhand. Again, use your alts if this isn't your first character. Always use your alts. Legacy bound gear is everywhere. I have some right here. This is the section X. Uh, legacy bound gear, section guardian's chest guard. I have full set of this armor here. Again, it's worth getting the legacy bound gear because it lets you unbind items, and you can get legacy offhands now from from Elum, from the Grey vendor. If you have some Grey Helix components, I have these legacy bound relics, the antiviral kits. Uh, pretty nice. I'm gonna go get a set of level 50 ones for now. Pretty nice. Again, bound to legacy. The only legacy bound relics in the game. Requires newcomer ranking though with the Rat Ghoul event. You had to you had to be there for the Rat Ghoul event. If you weren't there, unfortunately, can't get them. Same with the uh, legacy bound offhand, which is unfortunate. Legacy bound main hand again. You can get them from the Rat Ghoul daily. The Rat Ghoul um, vendor. I think they have newcomer requirement as well, or the uh, Gree vendor as well. They they are tokens that were only available during the event, but luckily I have farmed the crap out of the Gree event. <laughs> I've farmed the Gree event since it's been there from the beginning. So I have hundreds, hundreds of Gree Helix components, literally hundreds. My Bounty Hunter has about 50, my Sentinel has about 70. So I'm okay for them. There are only 8 Gree Helix components. Unfortunately, we can't, vent, we can't sell them on GTN, so we have to wait. If you can't access the Gree event, you're going to have to wait for the next Gree event. I don't know when it's going to come. Uh, I guess whenever Bioware feel like it, to be honest. It seems to just happen randomly. Last time it was uh, Christmas time. They linked it in with the Christmas event. It was, around, it was in the December. Uh, they linked it with the Life Day event. Sorry, not Christmas. Life Day. Life Day! We're in Star Wars, remember? So thank you for joining me for this little video. Part 2 will cover gearing for endgame. So thank you for joining me and see you soon and goodbye.